this is Captain Chaudhary in my videos on uh, basic stability where uh, we were doing grounding. Today I'm going to discuss with you the pinnacle grounding. Pinnacle grounding could be a realistic situation uh, for most of the ships which uh, get grounded accidentally. Like uh, uh, many of uh, the instances you must have heard uh, like the vessel grounds today and within a few hours or one or two days the vessel breaks into two. In today's lecture I want to calculate what is the thrust that is caused on the ship. You know the dangerous kind of thrust uh, that can come in on uh, a ship when a ship is grounded on a pinnacle. So and this thrust will come in uh, because of variation of tide. If a port has got a strong tidal variation it is very very dangerous for a ship that is grounded. So we'll do a simple calculation to understand like what kind of thrust uh, is generated on the ship. First of all the basic principle we should always remember whenever the vessel is uh, grounded the first thing one of the first things to do is soundings inside and soundings outside. Well the sounding inside will give you the damage compartment or uh, any uh, breach in the hull, the, uh, the, the, the sounding outside would give you where the vessel is grounded. You know, uh, the point where the vessel is grounded is called contact point and change of draft at point of contact is uh, rise or fall of tide. It indicates rise or fall of tides. We must monitor this point. Now coming back to the calculations, let's see there is a ship length 150 meters LCF 69 TPC 24 NCTC 260 now this ship is on a forward draft 8.00 half 9.04 and the ship is lightly aground on pinnacle 36 meters from forward. So that is the situation. The ship is lightly aground on a pinnacle 36 meters uh, from uh, the forward and it was found out that there is going to be, I mean uh, this is the uh, uh, low water or this is uh, some tidal uh, level and the tide is going to fall by about 90 centimeters. So uh, if the tidal fall is going to be 90 centimeters what we want to find out is what kind of thrust that will be generated on the ship because of the fall of tide. Because if the tide falls what happens is because the vessel is stopped at the pinnacle the, uh, the buoyancy that is provided by the vessel, uh, buoyancy that is provided by the water would reduce and that reduced buoyancy would get transformed into the upthrust from the pinnacle. So uh, looking at the picture the situation would be something like this. Right. There is a pinnacle over here. <coughs> right. And the distance of pinnacle from forward is 36 meters. Total LBP is 150, so 114 uh, meters from the aft perpendicular, but uh, we have center of flotation which is 69 meters from aft. So the distance of the pinnacle from the center of flotation will be 45 meters. So this distance is 45 meters. 45 plus 36 plus 69 would give you 150 meters. Right. So uh, we are talking about a situation where the vessel is lightly aground on this pinnacle. As I told you in my earlier lecture, lightly aground would mean that there is no upthrust. Upthrust is equal to zero. That means the vessel is when the vessel is lightly aground, the vessel is as good as free floating. The drafts forward and aft are the free floating drafts. As far as the calculations are concerned, whenever the vessel is pivoted, right? Whenever the vessel is pivoted, 
we have to do the calculations in two part you know and the basic principle is the change of graft at point of contact is because of two reasons one is bodily rise and other one is the change of graft purely due to change of trim so uh, change of graft at point of contact is also rise or fall of tide right so we say change of graft at point of contact is equal to rise or fall of time and this is also equal to bodily rise plus TRR. TRR is change of draft at the rock. Change of draft at the rock purely because of change of trend. So uh, when we say that change of draft is equal to fall of tide that is going to be 0 0.90 meters. So 0 0.90 is change of draft due to fall of tide right and uh, this is because of two reasons one is the body rise and other one is TRR that is change of draft at point of contact now the problem here is we don't know what is the upthrust that is going to be caused when the tide falls by 90 centimeter let us say the upthrust is P90 upthrust is P90 divided by 100 TPC would be uh, the bodily rise you know because if an upthrust of P90 is going to be caused here it is like it is like we have discharged a weight of P90 from this point so bodily rise would be P90 upon 100 TPC plus TRR but TRR is nothing but TRR is nothing but TRC into this distance and this distance is uh, uh, in formula I can write RF divided by LBP so this is going to be TRC into RF is 45 meters divided by LBP that is 150 meters but how much is TRC TRC if we discharge a weight from this point which is at a distance of 45 meters then the trim change would be P that is P90 into the distance that is 45 divided by 100 mctc so if we uh, put the whole thing in uh, the formula like in place of TRC if I write P90 into 45 divided by 100 mctc and the rest of the thing is 45 divided by 150 right and mctc is nothing but 260 then uh, this particular expression can be written here p90 into 45 square that is rf square divided by 100 into 260 into 150 so this becomes our formula so in every pivoted condition we have a formula like this which says that the change of draft at point of contact is bodily rise or bodily sinkage plus change of draft due to change of trim alone so uh, let's write this uh, mathematically tpc is uh, 24 2400 so 1 divided by 2400 gives me 0 0.0004 0 0.0004 so this is 0 0.0004 P90 and the other part is 45 10 to 45 equals divided by 26000 equal to divided by 150 gives me 0 0.00052 0 0.00052 and P90 this also was 0 0.00042 and this is 0 0.00052 the total is 
This is equal to 0 0.90, right? So what is P90? P90 is equal to <coughs> 0 0.90 divided by 0 0.00092 gives me 978.2. So P90 is equal to 978.26 tons. Now, uh, ships officer can calculate, ships officers can calculate what kind of thrust is going to be uh, acting at this point. So depending on what kind of pinnacle it is, depending on how big is the base, one can find out like what is the kind of stress that is caused on the hull, whether it is dangerous, whether the ship can sustain such a stress. So we have found out like uh, if the tide falls by 90 centimeter, this is the thrust that is going to uh, affect the vessel right so uh, one must watch out take appropriate measure you know 978.26 is the stress p90 what is the final draft because of this now i always tell my students like uh, whenever we have to find out from initial draft to final draft we do the calculations in two steps like uh, in the first step you apply bodily rise and in the second step you apply the trim change right change of graph due to trim change so i call that standard trim format let's do it so we start with the initial draft that is uh, initial 8.000 and 9.040 then you have bodily rise bodily rise will be 978.26 divided by 100 tpc Let's see how much it is. 978.26 divided by 8.632 and 7.592 now uh, there is a trim change the trim change is equal to 978.26 into 45 divided by 260 the trim change is 1.693 the trim change is equal to 1.693 and therefore what is the uh, uh, change of draft of because of this trim change that is 1.693 into LCF divided by LBP 0.779 the TRF is going to be minus 1.693 0.914 now this is going to be uh, like uh, you can see that the point of discharge or the uh, contact point is forward of center of rotation so forward draft is going to reduce so our draft is going to increase so the drafts are going to be 6.678 and 6.678 9.411 so this is how we find out the four and a half draft you know after a tire falls by 90 centimeters